Hey, every good relationship needs a little fight right. now and then. <laughs> Bang, zoom. That was from the Honeymooners. Turns out that couples that fight together stay together. Our communication expert, Dr. Audrey Nelson, joins us now to tell us why we need to fight a little bit more often. Right. Really? <laughs> it's just healthy. It's good for the relationship. It's natural. It's normal. And never believe anybody who says, I've been married for 20 years, and we've never had an argument or a fight. So They're is it, liars. Is it all about the way you <laughs> fight then? Absolutely. It's the way you fight. So okay. let's start. First, we need to view conflict as an opportunity. It's an adventure. Wow, how are we going to solve this? We're a team. We're working on this together. Secondly, know this. Women are a little bit more the culprit in this. Unexpressed conflict is unhealthy. All of a sudden, you notice I'm quiet or we're not having sex. You know, those passive are all aggressive. passive aggressive behaviors. So express the conflict. And I always tell couples generally, because that's the arena, your couple, your repair, your partners, express it the sooner the better. Got it. Third, establish ground rules. There, there's no power struggle. In a couple, we're equal. You know, so rules might be, honey, when you start to raise your voice, I'm going to let you know. Uh, no name calling. If we need a timeout, that's okay, but the ground rule is we're coming back to it. Fourth is winning is not the goal. Now, I just mm. mentioned women. Let me jump to men. <clears throat> Sometimes men want to be the winner. Right. Well, if you have a relationship where one's the winner, one's the loser, you have a loser relationship. Yeah. This is not about power because I care as much about you as I do about me. And then finally, if you make claims, honey, I just feel like you don't care about me. Well, that's like being blindsided. Mm. Right. All claims are based in <clears throat> reality. Now, honey, when you watch so much football and we never have any time together, now that's based Got in it. reality. And no blanket he statements. He gets it. He goes, okay, when I watch football, I'm going to make sure you and I have a Sunday brunch together. So give us a line. Give us one thing you can say when the, when the, when the argument gets big and something's re it's really inflamed. What do you do? When it's really inflamed, you say, you know what, honey? I care about you so much, and I think this is tough right now. Let's take a break and come back to it. I don't want to break okay. you, son of a... <laughs> okay, now that is not okay. Right. That is not, that should be in the ground rules. Honey, you're raising your voice, so I'm going to leave right now to give you an opportunity mm. to cool I down. I like That's it. Good. Ground rules. Ground rules. Got it. Rules Learn of engagement. Well. That's good. That's great advice. Roger, I'll tell you what, you? you may need to come by my house once in a while. <laughs> I sometimes break the ground rules. So I have I'll admit another it. idea. Just bring one of these cute dogs into the argument, and then there everything's going to go better, because coming up next, distraction. <laughs>